So I'm here today to present Rocky Mountain National Park, and this was actually created, the presentation by J. Leah Stominaker. And so Rocky Mountains, I know you've heard of them, but the Rocky Mountains actually extend all the way into Canada. So actually, where's Rocky Mountain National Park? It is here in Colorado. And you notice if this is uh, Denver, right, the capital of Colorado, it's not far at all. It's only about an hour drive from Denver. So if you're ever in Denver, you do need to make it this way. Check out what you would see. Look at that, right? And the boats here give you a little bit of a sense of scale. Okay, and so I love the reflection there. Our I wonder question is, how did this gorgeous landscape form? Which is really asking, how did the Rocky Mountains get uplifted? And so it is not your typical mountain story. So the Rocky Mountains were formed 55 to 80 million years ago. So that would only be like the 1.2, 1.4 yard line near the Today End Zone. And I actually had to look this up. It was during the, I think I'm saying it right, Laramide orogeny, which just is, orogeny means like a mountain building origin of the mountains. And so here's what the plates were doing. They were colliding, which is what we would think for mountains. And these are not volcanic mountains, but here's where it's weird. It's a subduction zone. So Jalea says the plates began to slide beneath the North American plate. Can you see that? But here's the deal. The angle of subduction was shallow which means that the density difference between the crust was not as um, wide as what it normally is. Normally, oceanic crust is so much more dense, made of dense minerals, it will really sink. And in this case, the density is closer. And so what you get is this broad belt of mountains, Jalea says, running down Western North America. But there is some igneous rock in here, but it's all intrusive igneous that cooled underground and was brought to the surface later. The dominant type, Jalea is right, is metamorphic from that heat and pressure of the mountain building. So when we type, we're going to actually type a shallow subduction zone. And that's why that you really don't have the same magma pocket. Okay, so her connection. When we learned about Mount St. Helens, remember how when we were studying Mount Fuji in Japan, we said it was a stratovolcano. Mount St. Helens in the state of Washington is also a stratovolcano. And Jay Lee is right, it's a subduction zone. The only difference would be it was not a shallow subduction zone. It was a deep and normal subduction zone to create volcanoes. Now she has some good attractions for us here. So this is Long's Peak. And you can see that the hike to the summit of Long's Peak is a five mile, I'm sure mostly uphill hike, but it's a popular hike. We have Long's Peak. This is called Bear Lake. And as I understand, there's a hiking path that goes all the way around Bear Lake. I've been to Rocky Mountain National Park, but I didn't actually hike to either of these places. Um, and then this is a place I definitely have been. Probably the most famous thing here is Trail Ridge Road. And you're going to see um, about a three minute video of what it would be like to drive on this road. One fun fact is it's the highest elevation road in the United States. And so if you're a little afraid of heights, this might freak you out. <laughs> Notice it says it's the beginning of June and the road just opened. This is snow covered for much of the year because of the high elevation. And all the major attractions in the park are along this road. This is when I say, if you're afraid of heights, <laughs> close your eyes, don't drive. So she's saying that, or this author of the video is saying that it starts at about 11,000 feet, the Alpine Tundra ecosystem. So as you rise up, you're getting to different levels um, in different ecosystems. Kind of famous little creature there called a marmot. I think we've seen a marmot screech before in Olympic National Park. Thank you. 
I'm going to go ahead just a little bit um, so you can see some more creatures. So bighorn sheep, common. I saw those for sure. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pause it right there, but you got a sense of what Trail Ridge Road would be like. Now here's some of Jaylea's plant life that she um, selected. So she is being mean to me. I have no idea. Ken, Ken, Nick, mm, you see, that's a lovely plant. Okay, next up, the choke cherry. I'm better on that one. And then finally, she has willow trees. So I was saying during the video that as you go up in elevation, you get to all these different ecosystems based on elevation, and you see the plant life change wildly from spot to spot. Um, in her park, there are some lovely animals, the gray wolf, black bears we've seen in many national parks, and also cougars. Um, and we saw, of course, the marmots and the bighorn sheep. Her current event, and we've heard a lot about um, wildfires and current events, on October 22nd of 2020, um, Rocky Mountain National Park lost several structures um, when the East Troublesome and Cameron Peak fires blew up overnight, burning 30,000 acres. Winter moisture brought most of the tree fires under control. Now, isn't it funny, in October, they call it winter moisture, right? But they would already be getting snow up in the high elevations. Um, but the fires did make a huge impact on the park. Parts of the park closed due to the fires, but some of the attractions Jaylea found had recently reopened. And so her personal reflection, the most, the thing she'd like most, she would like to do the most is to go to Trail Ridge Road. Um, so she must not be afraid of heights. And the most interesting sh thing she learned was how the Rocky Mountains were formed. So if you need to pause me to open your presentation chart, do it, but let's go ahead and type. So here's how you spell Jaylea's name. Um, J-A-L-E-Y-A, -E and her park is called Rocky Mountain National Park. So it is in the state of Colorado, and then the dominant force. I know that we are thinking mountain building, right? So go ahead and type mountain building, but let's put this in parentheses. Shallow subduction zone, okay? So mountain building, shallow subduction zone, and things you could see or do when you're there as you're ranking your park and thinking about what things you'd most like to see, you can hike to Long's Peak. You can hike around Bear Lake and, of course, Trail Ridge Road. I hope you enjoyed.